So I'm in class today and I'm showing my students how to do some literal equations. That's the equations that just have like a lot of variables in them or a lot of letters a lot of times. And when we're doing those literal equations, um, I was seeing a lot of students were having trouble with combining like terms. Um, they were combining their numbers and their letters. So I wanted to kind of go through a little bit of a story, not really, but maybe an example that might make a little bit more sense for you, all right? So actually, do I have another bottle? Awesome. All right. I'll do a little advertisement. This is Pellegrino uh, sparkling water. Okay. I like to drink sparkling water. So what we have here is we have two bottles. All right. Um, how am I going to write this? Okay. Bottle of water. Here I have a bottle of water, and here I have a bottle of water, right? So if I was gonna say how many bottles of water do I have total, it's very easy for you guys to say, well, you have two bottles of water. So if I can say one bottle of water, which is in my left hand, plus my other bottle of water, that means I'm gonna have two bottles of water. Or we don't know the bottles of water, let's say the bottles. Right? Makes sense. Hopefully. Well, let's, in mathematics or in literal equations, we have variables and things represent stuff, right? So a lot of times, you know, in a literal equation or in algebra, we have letters represent numbers that we don't really know. And, you know, we say like x can equal 3 one day, then it can equal negative 10 another day. So they always represent a different number, usually for an equation. Well, let's have b represent a bottle. All right, so B represents my bottle. So rather than telling you, here's my bottle, I'm gonna let my number B represent it. All right, so rather than always having to show me bottle, all these bottles, I'm just gonna have a letter B represent that. So if I'm gonna say B plus B, which is really bottle plus bottle, it's gonna equal two bottles, or what we could write as two B, okay? Now, let's say, Let's say now I'm going to have a bottle plus my other bottle. So I have two bottles. And then let's add the number four onto here. Okay? So now what do I have in total? I have two bottles plus the number four. So if I'm using this, I can see I have two B plus four. Right? I have two bottles and I was holding the number four. So 2b plus 4 equals 2b plus 4. Now, let's go through the mistakes that a lot of students like to make. A lot of times they say 2b plus 4 equals 6b. So please tell me, if I have two bottles plus the number 4, where do I get six bottles? Because remember, b represents bottles. So that's telling me I have six bottles. I don't see six bottles here. I see two bottles and the number four, right? So they're not the same, so you can't combine them. The other mistake is, students do, so that's wrong. 2B plus four equals six. So again, I have two bottles plus four. Two bottles plus four, and then they tell me that I have equal to six. Well, what happened to my bottles? I still am holding bottles here. So how do two bottles plus four equal six? Four's here and two bottles. They don't make six. Does that kind of make some sense? Hopefully, a little bit. So this comes up a lot in algebra, a lot. And you've really got to understand, you know, if you have like x plus x plus b plus x plus b, you can only add a bottle and a bottle to give you two bottles, and your x to give you your x is give you three x plus two b. All right, you can only combine those like, and then students totally forget it, and we get an equation like a literal equation, and they subtract the y 
It's 10 minus y. There's no 9y, nor is there a 9. It's 10 minus y. All right, so please make sure you understand my models, hopefully, and this makes sense to you. If not, write a comment. I'll respond back to you, and we'll be good.